Hello boys and girls, today we do drum brakes on a 2017 Nissan NV200. Now I know a lot of people have trouble with uh, drum brakes, it's easy to forget which spring goes where and a lot of people uh, do this stupid mistake which is take apart both sides at the same time. Do one side at a time, don't take apart both sides. Do one side, uh, finish it up, and use that done side as an example for the other side you're doing. So I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible, so you don't have to fast forward to look for the details. I already took this rotor off. I had quite a bit of trouble. Now to tell you, if you do, if they don't come off easy, uh, what you do is you can find either a 10 or 12 mil bolts with a thread I believe 8 by 1.25 M8 1.25 like this here basically you uh, you want to if you have the option to clean out the threads clean them out if not just spray PB blaster in there or WD-40 and just drive two both two at the same time and just keep going keep switching between the two and just drive them in this will force the drum out. Now if that doesn't work, which it didn't in my case, one bolt actually broke off. What you do then, you take this off and in there you will see the adjuster wheel. You see that small little thing with the teeth all around? You're gonna take a screwdriver. First you want to look at the thread. There's a, a bolt. Look at the thread, see which way the adjuster screws in or screws out. You want to screw it in to bring the shoes closer together so there is room, so they, ma they make room for you to take the drum off. It gave me quite a bit of trouble and I'll tell you why. First of all, the drum that want to come off, the owner of this vehicle waited too long to replace the brake shoes and you can see there's this ridge it's actually pretty deep, deep and this part did not allow the shoes to clear the drum so this drum is shot look at the shoes they are gone for comparison this is how it's supposed to look the braking material is pretty much gone look how thin this is anyways what gave me trouble was this see how bent this guy is so before I took the drum off I took a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver, and I bent it out because it kept locking up the adjuster. I could not, I need to turn it. If you look at it from this side, I had to turn it clockwise to screw the adjuster in, inside its uh, other, other half. And this would not allow me to do that. So no worries, I can, once I get this out, I'm just gonna straighten it out and it should be just fine. To be able to take the drum off with no issues, you need to screw the adjuster in. For this whole job, I'm gonna try and just use three basic tools, which are these, after you take the wheel off. Long nose vice grips and some pliers. That's it, no special tools necessary. So using the vice grips, I'm first gonna take the bottom spring off. Now I'm going to take this top spring off, again using the vice grips. Make sure you had breakfast when you do this. Now since I can, now, you, now we can take this, this part off. I'm going to go fix this, be right back. There we go, like new. Now since there's room, I'm going to remove this spring that's in the back. This one's actually easy. Now, using the same tool, I'm going to remove the springs that hold the shoes in place. So lock it in, holding the pin on the other side, pushing the cap in and twisting it. There we go. Spring. Pin. Now I am reusing all of the hardware. All of it all of it looks good. It's in good condition. No no rust or major rust. 
it should hold on. There we go. Now I can take this side shoe off. There's a lot of brake dust here. So this I'm going to leave in. Now this side is a bit different because it's got this fun C-clip in there. So now we got to remove the C-clip. So what I do in this case, this is never easy. I take these big pliers. Okay, squeeze it out. So I guess I did not need these other pliers that I got ready. Now I'm going to spray everything with brake cleaner. Now you see these points here? These six of them here, that's where the brake shoe slides a tiny bit on these points. And there was a little bit of grease on here. And you can see a bit of rust developing on some of these. So what I do, take a little bit of brake caliper grease and apply a tiny bit amount on each point. Not too much. Also while we're cleaning stuff, make sure this is clean as well. There's a little bit of grease in here this guy here i'm gonna unscrew it a bit and just spray brake cleaner here okay now i'm gonna apply a little bit of grease on the thread and screw it back in all the way and then back off half a turn or so now i'm gonna take the new brake shoe and reinstall the c-clip so this goes in the back of the shoe so like that, so that goes here, C-clip, this part's easy, and that's it. As far as the cylinder brake, what you want to do is push it in at the same time, push it in from both sides. Should be easy enough to do it with the, your hands. Okay. Now we're going to secure this brake shoe. I'm going to take the uh, cap. I'm not sure what to call this, but we don't need to know the specific names for different parts to know how to do the job right. Anyways, you're just going to take this. Don't squeeze too much. You, you want to keep this straight. Don't bend this. I'm going to take the pin. Spring. Reinstall that. So now we don't need to worry about this shoe running away from us. Now I'm going to take the spring that was in the back, hook it onto the shoe that's on the left. Then attach it to the shoe on the right, the right shoe. And just put it on. And we're going to do the same thing to this shoe. I'm going to put the spring back in.
Okay, now this bigger gap goes, oh, by the way, we're doing uh, rear right side, passenger side. So this is going to go in the back. Okay, now I'm going to just move the shoe back. Make sure this sits nicely against the the wheel. Now once I'm done with installing back the new shoes, I kind of eyeball the space here between the shoes and the, this back plate. Make sure it's more or less even. It just makes adjustment to the drum a bit easier. Don't forget to clean the inside of the drum just like you would your discs or rotors. There is oil on the inside of them so it prevents from uh, rusting during transport. That's pretty much it. See that? Okay, it's time to for the drum to go back. All the way in, make sure it turns. Now we need to adjust it. So a flat screwdriver, so turning in this case counterclockwise, which is up using the screwdriver. I don't know if you can see this. Basically grabbing by the teeth and turn pushing them up. And I'm gonna turn the drum. We need some resistance. Okay, I'm starting to feel a little bit of resistance. Now you see I can't turn it, it's too much, so I'm going to go down. But going down is not as easy as going up. Okay, so you hear that noise. That's what you want, a little bit of resistance. Don't forget to take this off of the old drum and reinstall it into the new one. And that's it. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, like the video, comment. Maybe I missed something, maybe there's a better way. Let me know. Consider subscribing. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.